What's going on everybody, it's Jet Central coming back with another video. And in recent news, the Cleveland Browns have been linked to Wyoming quarterback Josh Allen. And guys, it's a real possibility that Allen could be the number one pick in this upcoming draft. And uh, I gotta say, you know, when you take a look back at Jonathan Dorsey's quarterback history, if you will, he prefers the bigger arm quarterback, the quarterback with more of a, like a more of a boomer bust style of prospect. Uh, the quarterback with a higher ceiling. And the evidence will point to Josh Allen being the number one pick because he checks more of those boxes than Sam Darnold from USC. And so it begs the question, you know, as Jets fans, should the New York Jets draft Sam Darnold if he is in fact on the board when, when we're on the clock? And um, I got to say, I, my opinion is not the most popular out there. Okay, I, I might be on an island with what I'm about to say because every s national sports media outlet says that Darnold is by far the best quarterback in the class and he's really just a golden child and he doesn't he does do anything wrong. Uh, and, and his floor is Andrew Luck and, and whatnot, which I think is ridiculous. But anyway, do I think the New York Jets should draft Darnold if he is in fact on the board? And my answer is no. And it's nothing against Sam. It's nothing against USC. I, I don't root against the Trojans or anything like that. But I will say that after watching pretty much all of Sam Darnold's tape and comparing it to Josh Rosen from UCLA, Josh Allen from Wyoming, and Baker Mayfield from Oklahoma, I don't feel comfortable with Sam Darnold. I really don't. And I know that's unpopular because everyone says it's you know says the opposite that Darnold is easily the number one pick in the upcoming draft. But I would have to disagree. And I think especially especially for the New York Jets, I would be much more comfortable taking. Baker Mayfield from Oklahoma, or Rosen from UCLA. And I'll tell you why. When you take a look at all four, uh, I guess, the big four's offenses, you know, when you break down the tape, Sam Darnold, Sam Darnold's offense under T. Martin and uh, Clay Helton is the most basic out of the four. And yet Sam Darnold has the most turnovers out of the four. That is concerning to me. A turnover-prone quarterback, and it's not just the interceptions. He should have had more interceptions, but it's also the fumbles. Keeping two hands on the football. It seems to me like even though Darnold is really, really good inside the pocket, you know, as far as stepping up, sliding, feeling the pressure, when he tries to escape the pocket or when he gets sacked from the blind side, he holds the ball like a loaf of bread. And it seems to me like he fumbles pretty much every time he gets sacked. I mean, he's really carefree or careless with the ball uh, within the pocket. And especially when he tries to escape, the ball is out on an island out here. And it is like to a defensive end, that is just, um, that's like hitting the lottery. Just seeing the football all the way out here, that's an easy strip sack. And that is concerning. So when you take a look at the offense and you say to yourself, this is the a basic spread system. There's nothing really too complex about it. A lot of half field reads, a lot of screens, a lot of slants, getting the ball out quickly into the playmaker's hands. And yet this guy's the most turnovers out of the four, out of the big four. That that's a, that's a little concerning to me. Not to mention his mechanics. He is at, again out of the big four. He's the worst mechanically. He has a long hitchy release that. Will cause pro or or it it will be harder for him to kind of adjust to the pro game. If you are not exception, if you are not brilliant with your eyes at the pro game, uh, you are going to get picked apart. If you have an elongated release, uh, like a Blake Bortles, and you don't use your eyes effectively, looking off safeties, looking off linebackers, you will get intercepted left and right. You will. The, Sam Darnold will throw easily 20 to 25 interceptions uh, each and every season if he continues to throw the ball uh, with this release and if he doesn't use his eyes well. It's just a fact. If you have in a really hitchy release where you pull your the ball down as opposed to the elbow straight back, I always kind of think of it like this. You typically, prototypically, you want your quarterback's elbow to go straight back, almost imagining like you have a fishing line attached to the elbow and you're just pulling it back, as opposed to going down, because when you go down, it becomes into a circle, and safeties, safeties look at that, they know exactly where you're going with the football before you even throw it. So you will throw tons of interceptions if you are not brilliant with your eyes. Yes, you can have success with, with bad mechanics. You look at Russell Wilson, you look at Alex Smith, you look at Carson Wentz, but all three of those quarterbacks do an exceptional job at manipulating defenses with their eyes, 
baiting the safeties uh, in, into one side of the field and delivering the pass elsewhere, knowing where to go pre-snap. So I think that could be a, uh, I don't, I don't want to call it a red flag, but I think it could be concerning for Sam Darnold at the next level. So when you take into consideration all of those things, the bad mechanics, the turnovers, uh, interceptions and fumbles, you know, include branching off of the interceptions or over the um, branching off of the turnovers, I, sh- I should say. And he's playing in the basic, in the most basic offense. I don't necessarily think he is the is is the best fit for the New York Jets. I think you take a look at Baker Mayfield. I think he knows how to take care of the ball more effectively. I think he's a better fit for the West Coast system that Jeremy Bates will will be running next season as his rookie uh, see or his first season as the Jets OC. I think Josh Rosen could come in and do a better job, maybe not immediately. Because I, I personally don't want the rookie quarterback to, to to play week one if he's not ready. But I think Rosen could come in and learn the system like that within a month and be really effective at it. I mean, you take a look at Rosen's college career. He has experience in a spread and a pro style system. Josh Allen is coming from the most complex system out of the big four from uh, Craig Bowl uh, or under Craig Bowl from Wyoming. You know, th- that system right there is a traditional pro-style system. It's a big boy offense. They're asking Josh Allen to make big boy throws, not bubble screens 25% of the game. So you take a look at Allen, you take a look at Rosen, you take a look at Mayfield and Darnold. Darnold is the only one. Well, and, and Allen a little bit. Darnold and Allen are the only two quarterbacks I would, I, I don't want to say I'd be disappointed in walking away with draft night, but I would just be like, uh, I, I hope we're making the right move here, and I, I really do think that Baker Mayfield should be the pick. Should be the pick, excuse me. I think you should take a look at Josh Rosen if, if Mayfield is off the board. I also think that Rosen and Mayfield will do a better job uh, with the New York market. I, I think Mayfield especially kind of represents the New York Jets, kind of the underdog mentality. He, you know he's going to come in and work every single day. He's not going to be uh, bummed out to be on a... Uh, a team that struggled in recent history, like Sam Darnold. I mean, I know there was some rumors that Darnold and Rosen too expressed interest in not playing for Cleveland. I know that's kind of um, changed as of late, but those initial reports, you know, why come out and say, oh, you know, I don't really, I would rather go to a team later in the draft. I just don't, that's not really my thing. It's not really my um, style of thinking, you know, so. I think May- Baker Mayfield should be the pick. And if Darnold's on the board, and it's between Baker Mayfield and Sam Darnold, if it's between Josh Rosen and Sam Darnold, I'm going Rosen. I'm going Mayfield. Um, I'm sorry, but that's just my thinking. Now, real quick, I, I just want to say this. If, in fact, the Jets do pick Darnold, you know, say we say he's on the board of three and the Jets go ahead and pick him, will I support him? Of course. I will be Sam Darnold's biggest supporter and fan. I hope he has nothing but success. I'm just saying pre-draft, these are my concerns. I'm laying them out on the table. These are my thoughts. I, I just don't think it 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 adds up to a uh, to a good thing. You know, when you look at the turnovers, you look at the offense that he's coming from, and you look at his mechanics. I don't think those three things combined add up to being a successful quarterback. And with the New York Jets, a team that is known that has ruined quarterbacks by throwing them out too early, by the media just ripping them apart way too early, uh, them not being ready to play, and Quite frankly, all of them have turnover issues. Sanchez, Petty, uh, Fitzpatrick, Geno Smith. All these guys struggled taking care of the football. So it is what it is. I, I feel like it's fair for me to uh, take a look at the turnovers and say to myself, let's pump the brakes a little bit and let's, I don't, again, I don't want to say he's going to suck or anything like that, but I'm just saying it's a cause for concern. So that's my thoughts on Sam Darnold and if the New York Jets should pick him if, in fact, he is on the board at three. So let me know down in the comment section your guys' thoughts on if Sam is on the board at three. Will he be there? And if he is, should we take him? So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, go Jets.